Hello, Boo Boo Lovekins! So, this video is going to be a fall slash winter foundation routine. I know it's spring, I know, but I live in Canada and it is still quite cold, so why not? Alright, let's get started. So here is a close-up of my face so you can kind of see what's going on. So the first thing I'm going to do is moisturize the skin, of course. I'm going to use the Garnier Moisture Rescue Refreshing Gel Cream for a normal to combination skin. So, you want to use a moisturizer if you are going to prime your skin, which we will be doing next. And then we are going to let that dry just because with primers they just work a lot better if your skin is already moisturized they adhere better they last longer they look better and they feel better so that's why we want to moisturize before we prime the skin all right so for the primer i use the rebel london fix and perfect pro primer in zero two or in two, I guess. Smooths, resurfaces, brightens, mattifies, and protects. It's five in one. I just applied this to the skin. This doesn't feel silicone-y at all to me. It's actually quite thick of a primer, but that's fine. So we're just going to let that dry a little bit. Now that that's dried a bit, let's move on to some concealer. I'm going to be using the Maybelline New York Instant Age Rewind Treatment in the Brightener and Illuminator shade. So I like to put this under the eyes. And then blend that in. And then I also like to apply that just in the highlighting areas of my face. So a bit on my forehead, down my nose. On my cupid's bow, chin, lower jaw area, and then highlighting area. So, in these places. And then we blend. blemish conceal and I'm going to use the Benefits Boing concealer for that in number 01 now this one isn't the best for acne I don't think it's very long wearing for acne but it's the only heavy duty concealer I have right now so we're just gonna have to live with it I do really like this concealer for around the nose actually I just feel like it helps with my oil production there so after that I guess we should go to foundation. I'm going to be using the Revlon Color Stay Whipped Cream Foundation in 150 Buff Chamois, I think it's pronounced. Um, this is probably by far my favorite foundation. Next week's video is going to be a review on this foundation, so stay tuned for that if you're interested. So I just dip my finger in there 
and then just dot there is hair everywhere. Did I just get that in my hair? No. Okay. Phew. I like to do half of my face at a time with this. And I'm just going to be using the Beauty Blender again. Now this is actually the part where I move on to my eyes just so the foundation has a nice long time to set before I start powdering and doing my thing. So let's start with some mascara. So I'm first going to curl my eyelashes because I need that. Okay, so for mascara, I'm going to be using the Maybelline New York The Rocket Volume Express in Black Waterproof. Why am I so blue right now? Is it just me? I'm not sure. I was going to use Pumped Up Colossal, but I can't find it, so whatevs. Alright, and then I'm going to use the CoverGirl Lash Blast Fusion in Waterproof Black as well. I'm going to quickly put some brow gel on my brows so they stay in place. I'm going to be using the Maybelline Great Lash Clear Mascara. I know this is super, super weird, but next we are going to do eyeshadow. I know, I did mascara before eyeshadow. As you can tell, I make an absolute mess of my eyelids when I do mascara, no matter what. So that's why I always do my mascara first, in case you're curious. So, I am just going to take a piece of tape and put it right here. We want our lower lash line to follow upward. I can't stand it when I see people have eyeliner and then it goes straight because it makes your eye look really droopy. You want your eyeliner to go upward. So it pulls your eye up. Um, but yeah, I'm putting that piece of tape there so we contain the eyeshadow and we can quickly do the liquid liner since I am still a beginner. This is just what I find easiest for myself. So I'm going to take the e.l.f. eyelid primer and... We're just going to put that all over the lid, inside, under. And then we are going to use the beautiful and amazing Naked Basics palette by Urban Decay. If I can open it, there we go. So first color I'm going to take on a fluffy brush like this. And I'm going to take a naked two. And we're just going to put that in the crease mobile. No, that sounds weird. In the crease. A flat brush like this. I'm also going to take 
W-O-S or a walk of shame and I'm just gonna place that all over right, and then I'm just going to quickly highlight so I'm gonna take a tiny um, eyeshadow brush and I'm gonna take Venus so sometimes I just stop there but sometimes I don't um, I'm gonna show you how I darken up the outer V area just because sometimes I do this sometimes I darken it up so then I take like a what is this brush I don't know I take one of these brushes and I dip it in faint and then I make and you can't even see that I make a V shape I'm going to take that fluffy brush again and then just blendy blend and then I say good enough and then I'm done okay and then I'm going to do my liquid eyeliner this is the Maybelline New York Line Stiletto Ultimate Precision Liquid Eyeliner. How I do my wing eyeliner. I am going to be using the Becca Fine Pressed Powder in Wheat. I definitely feel like this foundation needs a lot of time to set because of how thick it is. So I like to do the rest of my eye makeup before I powder. That's just personal preference. So let's do the bronzy. I'm going to be using the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder in Sunny on a Real Techniques brush, the one that looks like this. So first I like to start up here because this is where I want the darkest area to be. So I just do it right here in like an inch space and then I start to bring it down my hair is all up in my business and then I will blend up and then I like to do around the forehead I don't contour, do you see all this like little hairs? No. I don't like to contour um, or bronze my nose or under my jaw because I find that if you put a darker color right under the jaw, it makes it look like your face and your neck are two different colors from my experience. The blush I'm going to be using is the Victoria's Secret Makeup Luminous Mineral Blush Duo in Pleasure. I think that this could totally be my favorite blush. I'm loving the mineral. I'm loving the bits of shimmer. I'm loving it. Okay, so again, I'm going to start off back here. Then I'm going to take a stippling brush. Just kind of blend those two. And then for a highlight, I'm going to be using the Benefit Sunbeam. We're going to put that on the cheekbones. And I have like a bone right here. 
so that is like the furthest I go in for my highlight that's how I can tell personally what I've been wearing recently and I'll just explain as we go along so first thing I'm gonna use is the Urban Decay 24 7 glide on lip pencil in native And then when it comes to my cupid's bow, I have a really tiny cupid's bow. So a lot of the time, I just like to draw right over it because it makes my upper lip look a little bit bigger. So the reason why I do 300 steps when I do this lip combination is this product right here. It is the YSL, what is this? Rouge Velup in number one. I think it's like nude beige or something. It's the pinky nude color. This lipstick is super, 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 super creamy, so it doesn't stay on the lips. So this is why I have to wear a lip liner with it, because it literally does not stay. And I paid like $40 for this, so I'm definitely going to be doing all these steps just to wear this lipstick, because I ain't going to waste my money. Okay, so that is the completed foundation routine. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Please thumbs up this video if you want a spring summer edition. I will be happy to do so. Subscribe if you haven't already and leave a comment down below of whatever you like and I will catch you in my next video. Toodles!